Hi everyone, I always like to give you something different and today is no exception. Today is the inaugural 12 hour challenge. I live in the town of Paisley just west of Glasgow and I was wondering how far could I travel in 12 hours from my hometown? Now it's not flying but using buses, trains and ferries. Well today we're going to find out. Now I originally thought let's head south but if I leave from here Paisley to Glasgow and then head down to London I'd be there in 5 hours. In 12 hours I could be in deepest darkest France, Switzerland, Netherlands, Belgium, Germany. And I didn't want to go down that route because I've got something planned for you guys later this year. My name's Scott and this is Planes, Trains, Everything. Now we've got a train coming in about 10 minutes time. It's the 8.28 to Glasgow Central. Let's see where we end up at 8.28 tonight. We are now approaching Glasgow Central. Please mind the gap when alighting from this train. The next stage is the 9.10 a.m. bus from Glasgow to Inverness. Now I could catch a train, but the next train doesn't leave for over an hour. And this is actually a 12 hour challenge, not a timetable challenge. I could have left and caught an earlier train to Inverness this morning, but that means getting up earlier. That means the 12 hours finishes earlier, and it would cause a few connections later on further north in Scotland. So at 9.10, the Cannon Bus Station. Welcome to a very snowy Inverness. The next section of this epic journey is by bus from Inverness to Wick. Now we're not catching the train and that's for a very specific reason. Back in the day you used to be able to catch a train from here, Inverness, to Georgemus Junction. The train would then split. Part would go north to Thurzo and part would go east to Wick. But to save money by not paying two salaries for two train drivers, they've amalgamated the services and now the train goes Inverness Georgemans Junction, Thorzo, back to Georgemans Junction, then to Wick. That effectively increases the journey time by 25 minutes. Now overall, trains take about an hour longer than buses to get to Wick anyway, and because this is not a timetable challenge, but a 24 hour challenge, we need to get moving. Anyway, I've got about an hour to kill here in Inverness between buses, so I'm going to get a badly needed coffee to warm me up, maybe a bite to eat because it's lunchtime, and I'll see you back at the bus station.
That's a cool little cafe. Nothing special, but they do take their Barga heritage very seriously in there. How many cafes have you been to which have got a display of motorbikes? Right, stand number two for the bus to Scrapster. We'll be getting off at Wick. That bus left Inverness pretty busy. Most people got off at Dornoch, but it was just about full. I was lucky to get on because most people had reservations. Well, here we are in Wick. It's a place I've never been to before, but unfortunately I don't have time to explore the town. But I do feel kind of comfortable here because my distant ancestors all came from the, the Caithness, Sutherland part of Scotland. But I do have time to trace my family tree. We have a bus to catch. In fact, this bus is an interesting one because it heads north to John O'Groats and then to Guild's Ferry Terminal. That gives you a clue as to what's coming up. Right, where's that bus? The look you give when your bus number 77 isn't on the bus timetable. Ferry terminal, bustling place. Can't avoid the wind unfortunately because it's blowing a gale here. Those windows on that bus there were absolutely filthy. I could hardly see anything and John O'Groats was just a blur. Could not film anything at John O'Groats. Right, let's get on this ferry. Pentland Ferries, that's a new one for me. I've now got my boarding pass. Let's get on board. The ferry leaves in about 25 minutes and we've still got about two hours before our 12 hour challenge is over. I'm the only 
only foot passenger and I get on before all the vehicles so I'm the only one on the ferry at the moment another empty lounge we're about to set sail and the destination is St Margaret's Hope now it's Scott's Hope that the connecting bus is still there I hope we don't run late we've only got about 12 minutes Special attention to the following safety announcement. Your attention is drawn to the life jacket donning instruction notices, which are displayed at assembly stations and in other passenger spaces throughout the vessel. Also displayed are signs stating simply. It's really quite bitter up on the so called sun deck. There is sun, but it's not a very warm sun. Temperature today is about 3 or 4 degrees Celsius, and with the wind chill factor, it's way below zero. This is the first, and this is the furthest north I've ever been in the United Kingdom, and you guys are here with me as well. Still an hour to go on this 12 hour challenge, so I'll see you when we arrive in Kirkwall. yet? Am I worried? Not yet. No sign of this bus, it's running late. So I went over and spoke to one of the crew who were hanging around a car and he said, oh there's always a bus that connects with the ferry but it sometimes runs very late. Fantastic. Thanks very much guys. See you later. Take care. Bye-bye. That all turned out not quite as expected. I was standing there and one of the guys at the ferry terminal said, where are you heading into? Kirkwall? And I said, yes. He says, just jump in. So I got a lift with these two very friendly guys into the centre of Kirkwall. We did actually pass the bus on the way. So I wasn't really cheating. The bus would have turned up eventually, but at least I'm here with plenty of time now to get maybe fish and chips for dinner. What have I achieved? Well, as the crow flies, I've got it down on a bit of paper here, 223 miles north by northeast. Total of 346 miles traveled. What have I learned about public transport? Generally speaking, it, it is reliable, except they really need to wash their windows. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching this crazy 12 hour challenge. We did make it, only just, thanks to the help of these guys. I'll see you next time.